Good afternoon, Rosalind Bliss here in the mayor's office providing a few updates. It's been a busy few weeks. Um, I'll start with a couple things we just did on Tuesday at our city commission meetings. Uh, one of the big ones is in the morning, we talked about the upcoming census. I know it may feel like it's a ways off. Uh, it's in April of 2020, so about 18 months out. Um, but the census is absolutely critical. So in our community, we wanna make sure that every single person is counted. Uh, and so we talked about that on Tuesday. We're gonna launch a complete count committee called Everyone Counts Grand Rapids. And I hope that you will stay engaged in that process. A lot of things are riding on our census count. So a lot of people may not know this, but um, based on our population, uh, very often when there are um, state funds, grants, federal funds allocated, it is based on a portion of, of the funding is based on our population. So it's really important, particularly for a lot of our programs like um, community development block grants, emergency grants, um, JAG grants, which are for um, for crime prevention. And then also, that's how electoral lines are drawn. And so as we think about our population, we wanna make sure that we get everyone counted so that when it comes down to redistricting um, after the 2020 census, um, that we're able to have good representation, not just in Lansing, but also DC. A couple other things on Tuesday that we talked about, we had a um, really in-depth and thoughtful presentation and update by Ron Davis. He's the principal at 21st Century Policing. That is the team of folks we've been working with on our police policy uh, and review task force. So he spent some time with us, shared with us 38 preliminary recommendations. Those recommendations will be finalized over the next couple weeks. And then in October, uh, the task force will meet for the last time and then we'll have a community update and conversation about those recommendations kind of towards the end of October. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we are really excited to see some of that work coming to a conclusion and starting to implement some of those changes. Uh, and then yesterday we had a big event, um, actually multiple events, about an initiative that we participated in, uh, in partnership with the West Michigan Hispanic Chamber, the Grand Rapids Chamber, um, the Right Place, and Samaritas. And this was work that we did um, through a grant called Gateways for Growth Initiative, where we brought in a team of researchers and they were able to analyze data to capture the economic impact that individuals in our community who are refugees or immigrants have on our community. So that report is online and available. Um, it's really good data. Uh, next steps will be what can we do as a community, not just in the city of Grand Rapids, but throughout the entire county, what can we do together to make sure that we're truly a welcoming community for everyone? So again, more information about that will be available soon. Um, and then just a couple of real quick thank yous. I wanna thank everyone who came out and joined me for the Grand River cleanup. So that was on Saturday. We had thousands of volunteers. We picked up thousands of tons of trash. Uh, it's amazing what we pull out of the river. Uh, we wouldn't be able to clean it up and get that out of that garbage out of the river without you. So thank you so much, everyone who joined me. Um, we also had a big weekend in town with City Fest. A lot of volunteers involved with that as well. Many hundreds of churches, uh, actually about 430 churches stepped up to be a part of that. Uh, so I just wanna thank everyone who came out to celebrate um, the closing of what was a number of weeks of giving back to the community. Uh, and then last, I will tell you, and I'm sure you already know this, Art is starting to pop up all over downtown. I look out my window on the Calder and I'm starting to see it. I'm sure you'll notice it too if you're downtown. We're uh, on the, uh, almost I should say, I should say, I didn't wanna say heels, but we're almost getting ready to launch Art Prize. It'll be here next week. But artists are already downtown, out and about in the neighborhoods. Um, so if you need more information about Art Prize, there's a full agenda on their website. I hope to see you out and about. Uh, we're gonna have some beautiful pieces this year. There'll be a lot going down, uh, going on down at Rose Park Circle so maybe I'll see you there. Have a great day.